Response. Mr Speaker, when it comes to the negotiations that begin next week, no one knows what the government's bottom line is and we will only find out later this year. But could the Minister explain to the House today why on earth this government believes that the reputational damage that will be inflicted, not just in EU capitals but around the world, as a result of casually reneging on a number of commitments set out in a political declaration that was signed in good faith with the EU after the recent general election, is a price worth paying? Serious state. Well, I have great respect for the Honourable Gentleman, but I am afraid his question is wholly misconceived. We have absolutely no intention of doing anything other than honouring the withdrawal agreement, honouring the protocol that we have signed, and making sure that the political declaration's aims of ensuring that we have a comprehensive free trade agreement with no tariffs, no quotas and no quantitative restrictions is achieved.